are special, we are awesome, we are family. We're full of love, we're full of life, we're a special, awesome family. We're a special, awesome family. It's our special, awesome family. Awesome. Good well for Wednesday morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. And it's waffle day in this house of yours this morning. Oh, you guys, I got the surprise of my life. This morning, Kylie and Bodie showed up. They came to see me. And Lindsay and Russia, Didi and all the family. It's gonna happen back in the house this morning again. <laughs> um, the sad thing is, Kylie, he's like, I'm just coming to see you, Mom. I don't want to live here anymore right now. I just want to see you. I want to go still on the road, but I still want to see you. So <clears throat> he's gonna start coming every two weeks to see me, but he still wants to be on the road. But Bodie does not. Bodie um, has decided to come home and be homeschooled. So. I will be having my hands full of homeschooling Bodie, <laughs> which is okay. I don't mind. Um, Kylie loves me, but he just is, has not attached to us as much as Bodie has. Bodie has attached to us a lot, but Kylie just, Kylie just doesn't attach as much as Bodie does. Um, so, you know, it's hard, but if he's happy where he is and he's attached to where he's going to, then that's fine. I know they'll take good care of him. They have, I mean, he's grown to that's so I am. Um, he's grown more patient with people. I mean, it's amazing what I learned that he can do now. It's, it's awesome. I mean, I've always been trying to teach him patience, but, you know, it's kind of, you just never know. But, um, he has grown more patient, which is awesome. So... Uh, breakfast this morning, and then I got to take the boys to get a job because um, they have to have that done today. Um, and then I've got to get bonus homeschool started. After, whoa, hello, after the job. So, <clears throat> gotta do that, but I'm making waffles first. Hey, boats. You like your waffle the way you used to do, huh? You and Kylie. So Rich is making chocolate chip. Lonzie's making blueberry ones that I'm making like a rubber ones. We're making a sort of waffle board, I guess you call it. <laughs> I didn't get around to making muffins this week like I thought I was going to. I'm gonna do it next week. Um do maybe a morning routine thing. Um that's been commonly asked for as a morning routine, so I've been meaning to do it, but I keep forgetting. I keep wanting to record more and more and more and more and not thinking that Excuse me, morning routine would be good. So, I'll start doing that, incorporating that in my vlogs. So, oh my goodness, you guys. I have to take Kylie and Bodie to get their blood on because the medications are on. And then we have to go see the neurologist today and just kind of make sure everything's okay. Or not the neurologist, I'm sorry, pono, just because both have asthma. So, we have to get their asthma meds refilled. And then they're good to go. And then Kylie will hang out for a bit and then leave. Um, he will be, you know, Kyle, uh, stay with the Hudson's uh, and then come back in two weeks. Um, he'll stay here for a few days though before they leave. Because they have business here, so. <laughs> Otherwise he'd be already gone, but um, because they have business here as well. And because Mr. Hudson works for TriMed, um, he's got to do some meetings and all that stuff as well. So, yeah. Uh, I didn't sleep the best last night because I was really concerned about, um, Gail and, and Kyle because both of them had, had seizures yesterday because of blood draws. I never thought that a blood draw would actually trigger a seizure, but it, it, it always has with Kyle, but never with Daniel. I don't know. 
Wow, this muffle looks good. I'm making hearts and stars today. I have several different waffle, waffle makers. Like I have snowflakes, which I made last time I made these, but we're gonna do hearts and stars because the kids like the hearts and stars. Wow, well, so. Oh, oh. Trying to get myself awake this morning. My brain just feels like, ugh. I just, I'm not awake yet. <laughs> but, um, we have news about respite. Um, <clears throat> we have respite workers on call anytime we need them. And if we need to have respite for a little while to kind of get out for a few minutes, we can do it. So, yay. Um, because of the fact that Lindsay and I really need time together, um, sometimes, especially on Sunday because our anniversary Sunday, our, our actual yearly anniversary, uh, um, they actually told us we could go away for the weekend, but I'm not sure that I see Lindsay and I do that right now. It's just hard to leave the kids doing that. I mean, we have a few times, but. now. So yeah, um, it's, it's hard to be away from the kids that long. <laughs> I know we need to, and we may go away on Saturday night just for the night with our couple of friends, you know, with Casey and Tab and Rich and Dee and all them. We may actually, we had thought about going to a hotel just for the night, for our, to our cabin, um, just for the night to kind of get a little respite, you know, because everybody needs a little respite, but it's just hard when you don't feel comfortable leaving your kids very much, and we don't, so. But Nana's going to be around. You know, she's going to be here at the house. Respite workers will be coming in and out, but she'll still be here to kind of orchestrate that. So as long as you said, we are going to like Saturday night, so we are going to go to our cabin Saturday night and stay the night. Um, so yeah. Ooh, these waffles look so good. But, um, it's hard to do when Kylie and Bo are here because they, they, they move in miss us and Daniel cries every time we do that, but, you know, we need a couple's time. <laughs> so, um, for our anniversary, we're gonna go to our cabin on Saturday night and stay for Sunday evening, so. Because Casey and Tab's anniversary is the same day as ours is, and Richard Didi's was on Christmas Eve, so they didn't really get to do much. Well, it's time for coffee. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's not <a> funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, one thing that we have noticed is that if the kids have their hands busy, they're apt to be more calming. Call me? Okay, whatever, Rocky. You need new words here. Use your words, right? <laughs> Calmer. <clears throat> so, a couple of our kids, we got, uh, they got into diamond art, which I'll show you in a little bit. Right now, I'm making breakfast and get ready to put the kids, well, get them ready for school and go in the car line. <laughs> um, the kids are starting to like us taking them, so I'm not sure if the bus is going to happen right now because the kids are sort of liking that. Now, JJ and them have a bus. They the group home takes them to the school and then to their work program, so they have that available to them, and then they go back to the group home. So, oh goodness. I also had to take Robbie to get his blood tested because he would not sit for it yesterday. But they say he seems happier today, so I'm going to take him to get his done. Him and Creed. JJ was very good. He sat when he had his done. He was very, very good. But, um, Robbie was not. <laughs> so, we're going to try to go for that again. Hi, you, is that good? Yeah. <clears throat> So, um, Robbie and Creed and Jason's friend Ryan, or Brian, doesn't have a family. Um, we offered to take on his guardianship, as a guardian, a guardianship for them, for him, because he has nobody. He totally has nobody. So it's time to go do lunches, everybody. I may record that, I may not, you never know. <laughs> 
Okay, guys, I just dropped the kids off at school and they still have not got a bus for them. They said they don't know when that's gonna be because of our district where we're at. It's worse. a little further out. They're more used to people coming in from town. So I'd be driving them the whole time. <laughs> I don't know. You know, where's Lisa when you need her? You know, but Lisa and Jerry didn't want to move from Texas because of Jerry's job and, and they like it there. And we are actually sort of glad we did move because I'm going to tell you why. Um, we had, when, when I got up this morning, Peter's feeding soup, blah, 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 feeding soup, so feeding soup, I can't talk, good lord, coffee, Rocky, right? feeding tube supplies were on my doorstep. Along with um, Freya's formula that she takes because she drinks Cape Farms. And she drinks it from her bottle. Her bottles came, which I was really impressed with because the other, like we were having trouble getting bottles for Freya. I had to buy for, bottles for Freya. But here, my gosh. And the church bought um, some, you know, treats for the kids and like clothes and things that said, welcome to the, welcome to the family. So impressed. <laughs> we have church tonight. Um, Trent is going to preach again, which he is doing awesome with that. Um, he goes, the school they go to is a, a Christian school. So he's doing a lot of Bible classes and stuff like that because he can do that. You know, he's able to do the uh, Bible classes and all that. So heading over with Kylie and Bodie and Robbie. I had to go pick Robbie up to do his blood work. Um, he would not sit still for it yesterday. He was combative. Well, not really combative, just angry. Like he didn't want to sit still for that blood work. And I, you know, I can't make him sit. You have to, you know, do the best you can to hopefully he will sit. Sometimes he will not sit. And sometimes he will do fine. Other times he's not fine. And yesterday he was not fine. So, Robbie, what are we going to do? Yes, blood draw. That's right. Are you going to be good? Yes, good boy. Okay, thank you. So it's hard when you have a child with autism who is big and he's an adult now. <clears throat> so I'm also taking Brian. Brian is also Robbie's best friend and we found out his brother. So he's now our son too. He's Robbie's brother. And he he's Robbie's twin brother. He has autism. So um, we're taking Brian, Robbie, and Kylie and Bodie to get their blood work. Oh, two sets of twins. What a wow. So let's do it. Let's do this. <laughs> let's do this, right, Kylie? You gonna be good? Buddy, you gonna be good? Yes, good job. So I just talked to um, the school and they said that Aiden had a meltdown. <sighs> He's okay right now. They're gonna try to calm him down, give him an insurance if that calms him down. And I did put a dose of calm trout in his backpack. I do every day because you never know. Aiden could be soft and gentle. He could also be very violent. So I also need to go shopping for Bree's birthday. Bree's birthday is Thursday. Oh my God, Bree's birthday is tomorrow. <laughs> so I have most of it done from Amazon like weeks ago, weeks in advance, but she's turning 12 tomorrow. So I'm kind of freaking out. Um, I thought she was turning 13, but Rich said no, she's 12. Okay guys, I had to go back because I forgot to give, I did not have his calm child in his backpack although I thought I did, I had it over here. So I gave him this calm child and I also gave him, um, we always try to give him something heavy to bring him down when he's angry like this and he's hitting himself. So I gave him calm child and then I gave him a, um, a English muffin with eggs on it that he had in here that I saved for him. So that's what we did. And so we're heading back out now to get blood drawn. It's not an appointment, we just have to do it. Then we have to go to the lung specialist for Kylie and Bodie's asthma. They're doing good, actually. They're doing really well with their asthma. Um, it hasn't been easy, but they're doing good. Ow. So we're heading back out to do the blood work and go see the, the uh, um, pulmonologist. I did just get a text from Daniel's teacher saying that Daniel was kind of having little small seizures, but he's okay. I will tell you what I'm concerned about, though. Um, 
When it comes to our kids and their future, the biggest concern I have is that there won't be a place that is good enough in society. Like, if, if we're not here, what's going to work? So, we are getting all the paperwork processed for Jason's call of attorney. So, that's the biggest concern. Like, with Kyle, you know, Kyle will have to have someone to watch over him 24-7. He can't be on his own. Um, you know, Jace. It's the same one with Jace. We, we have already gotten his paperwork started. We're about to finish that because he'll be old enough where he's going to have to have it. Um, same with Kyle. You know, Kyle has to have that because he'll be... 18 in March, which I just now found out because Richard's telling me looking over through Kyle's records. And we were told a different age for Kyle when we first got Kyle. So he'll be 18 in March, 21st. And I've got to get the rest of that done today and get the boys back to their respective places, get Bodie's homeschool started. <sighs> it's a lot. The biggest thing that concerns me is I'm afraid that Bodie might have trouble with blood work. He doesn't like getting blood drawn at all. <sighs> so, yeah, this is, this is going to be a lot of fun. Trying to deal with getting him to stay calm to get his blood drawn. Um, I just hope it doesn't trigger a seizure of Robbie, because Robbie doesn't do well with blood drawns either. But I think after we do blood draws, we'll go get ice cream, and maybe that might help, help him to stay calm enough. Right, Robbie? <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, guys, we're almost there. Remember, if you do go, we'll go get ice cream, okay, guys? And I know people are going to say, you're bribing them. You shouldn't be bribing. Guess what, guys? When you have a kid with autism and they're having to give blood, it is not easy, especially for Robbie and Kylie. They don't do well with it, and neither is Bodie. Brian, I'm not sure. Brian, for what I heard last time he had it done, he got really angry. So we'll see what happens, right? He'll be okay, honey. He'll be okay. He'll be okay. We can do this, all right? Okay, here we are, guys. Come on. It's that time, dude. It's that time, Bodie. Honey, don't freak out. It's okay. It's okay, Buzz. Robbie, you're okay. Brian, no, Brian, Brian, Brian. It's okay. Come on, honey. It's all right. Kelly, remember what you're working for, guys. Remember what you're earning, okay? This is the hardest part is trying to get them to remember what they're earning for, you know, what they're working for. They don't really understand. It's not their fault. They just don't understand. These are four of the most severely. Yeah, they're the most. Well, Kylie, not so much. Exactly. I mean, he is really autistic, but it's okay, honey. Here. And I hope this does not trigger a seizure in Robbie or in Brian, because Brian also has seizures, too. Robbie, 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 right here, baby. Robbie, 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 Robbie. Don't take off. Come here, honey. I'm trying to keep Robbie and Brian from taking off. Well, honey, can you grab him, please? Thank you. He has a meeting this morning, but he's trying to help me with blood draws because I can't do it on my own. Brian, no. Sit down, please. Thank you. Good boy. You can do this like a good boy. You can do this, okay? You can do this. Brian and Andrew, sit down, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, good boy. Brian's going first. Good job. It's okay, Brian. One, two, three. Good. You so good. There we go. Good job, Brian. Hey, Rob. The t the other ticks could go and see Robbie for me. Robbie, sit down, please. Let her work with you, okay? Remember what you're working for, Rob. That's a good boy. Kylie and Bowie with another tech, which has them for me, which that way we could do all this done at once. Then we can take them back to do what they gotta do. Good job. So proud of you guys. You're working so hard. <laughs> Robbie, remember what you're working for, honey. Uh, this could trigger a seizure in him. I hope it doesn't. 
pretty good. <laughs> there you go. You can do this. Good job. You're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Good job. So good, my boys. <laughs> Bodie's just sitting there letting him do it. I figured he would be the one to hulk out, but he's not. Good job. Oops. Sorry, honey. Okay. Successful. Love you feel okay? Huh? You okay? This is what I'm worried about right here is this trigger and a seizure because he gets really mad when it happens. And he can he can do anything to himself when it happens like this. <laughs> so we're having our Baskin Robbins. Uh, Robbie did have a seizure. As I told you he would do. I called it because like two minutes later after this happened, he had a seizure. Brian did too. So we just got to kind of keep an eye on these two and hopefully we'll have a good day and all that, right? It is Wednesday, Brian. I want your ice cream. There you go, bye-bye. Good boy. Got our frozen yogurt and ice cream. So, um, Robbie did have a seizure. We figured he would. I had to change him in the van because there's no, of course, no bathroom that's big enough for him. He's six foot one. So, you know, it's frustrating when you have a child who's six foot one who uh, has special needs who can't, you know, tell you he needs to go to the bathroom or when he has a seizure has to be changed. So that's the way it is, you know, it's, it's life. You have to do what you got to do. Take him out to the van, change him, you know, deal with whatever you got to do. And that's unfortunately the way it is right now. Right, Rabs? Is that good? So we were leaving the... Uh, Ice cream place. We were leaving Baskin Robbins and Robbie had a meltdown, a bad behavior issue. Um, so he bit my hand. I know he didn't mean to. He's just out of sorts because, you know, he had a seizure. And unfortunately, when this happens, he can be out of sorts. He can be very angry. And this is what happens. And unfortunately, he got very mad. But Brian got mad because he wanted more food. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it goes with Brian. He's a foodie. He loves his food. And if it doesn't get enough food, um, it can get very dicey for him. So. Ah, yeah. Live and learn. Hey, Reb. You okay? So, yeah, Brian got really angry and started having a meltdown because uh, he wanted more food. And it was just... Two very angry twins, the same exact same height, big boys having meltdowns. <laughs> they were asking, what's wrong with him? Why are they doing that? You know, it's, you got rude comments from people. It's like, do you have to be that rude? You know, do, you, do you have to be so rude toward my kids? You know, they have autism. They have other special needs. By the way, we did go to the, the uh, preliminary specialist. It went really well. They said they keep uh, giving the boys their breathing treatments every day. And we're doing that. So they got a well checkup, didn't we? Yeah. You happy now? I know. I know. You don't like that. Mm -hmm. Pause. Okay. That is done. Uh, Robbie and Brian are back at school. Having their program. PM. Whoa. So, um, I'm just out here. Um, Bodie's done doing school. I got him to start doing his schoolwork. Um, Kylie's doing his schoolwork as well. Although he fought me and the Hudson's about doing it. He didn't want to do it, but Jennifer's like, no, you have to do your schoolwork. You know, this is an everyday thing just because you're in front of your mom. Don't mean you're going to sit there and try to cause, you know, a little mischief here. So... A little mad, but it'll be all right. I just got some more fish to put in our pond out here. Is it frozen a couple weeks ago because we had rain and stuff and snow? 
which will start snow coming in more and more and more. <laughs> Hey guys, we are at fun, uh, Clubhouse Fun uh, Center, and we are riding Gumper or the Gumper Gumper cars. Okay, Rocky, really? You guys having fun? We haven't done this in a long time. We did this at other places, but never here. This is really nice. So they have bumper cars, go karts. They have miniature golf, which our kids are not really fond of that, but. <laughs> So the kids got off from school, I got to pick them up, and we came straight here after they had sex. Right? There goes Kyle driving a car. <laughs> oh, careful, Bodie. <laughs> They're having a wonderful time, which is awesome. Ouch! So we're just watching and enjoying it, too. We're going to eat dinner. Ouch! Oh, sorry. My... Get, keep getting bit by Robbie. Robbie, no. Anyway, Robbie was trying to play bite me. It sort of hurt. You having fun? So everybody's having a really good time. We haven't done something like a fun day in a while. We just had so much going on with moving and everything, so we just hadn't had time to do it. Kyle's like it because they have, you know, they have rides here, so he likes that. So it is cold and a bit snowy, but not as bad as it was. It's more able to be, you know, we're able to be out a little bit. You have fun, buddy? Yeah. So we've got all the schooling done. Everybody's having a good time. We've got uh, the kids from the group home, too. Cow's loving it. Kylie, you loving it? Oh, goodness, you guys. I'm tired. It's been a very long day. Woo! You guys liking that? So we're having a good time. Now we're at our friend's house, and he has a indoor, like a sort of place for kids to play, and adults. So we're riding one of his rides. Is that fun, Kylie? <laughs> He's loving it. So we didn't stay at the other place very long because it was getting too crowded. Our kids do not do well with crowds that are really big. <laughs> so, yeah. You want to ride the Ferris wheel? Kyle's not really sure about the Ferris wheel yet. <clears throat> He's a little bit concerned about riding that. It's like an indoor outdoor thing. thing. So we did okay at the fun house, but it was just getting too crowded for our family. So we came here to our friend John's. It is cold, but the kids love the theme park rides. So we're just having a little quality time together. We do have church in a matter of an hour, but that's okay. So what? Yeah. Yeah, but you sit on like a couch thing and it goes up and down these little hills and go into these little areas. Like that. You can just walk through here. It's really old. <laughs> but he likes it. So we they keep it. You gonna ride the ozone? Yeah. Kylie rides all of them. He doesn't care. Kyle's more iffy, but Kylie rides them all. <laughs> Bodie rides most of them. can do it. Okay. 
So we have church in a little bit. Um, we're going to go to church in a little bit. Last ride for now, guys. We can make it up here again on, like, tomorrow or Friday. Because then they can ride all the rides. Up we go. Okay, last ride for now. The pirate ship. You ready? Oh, those brakes need to be replaced. <laughs> Everybody's just holding it on. Having fun? Kylie, hold on. Hold on for life, hunt Kylie. It's having a good old time. <laughs> Kylie had to ride one more ride, so we're doing tilt twirl. Go, go, Kylie, go. Go, Kylie, go. Well, can we at least do one more after this? I, mean, I don't think we're going to have time. We'll see, okay? This is our usual fun day out. We do things like, you know, that involve... Right, so much time for Kylie when he's here. You liking that, Kylie? He's having a good time. Look at that. <laughs> he's loving it. Okay. He wants two more rides. He might come like a walk. I don't know. Does it have to be two more rides? So we'll see if we can make it work. Woo! <laughs> Kylie, we have to go to church then, okay? You'll be alright. He's just getting a little bit mad because he doesn't want to go to church. He wants to keep on riding rides. This is the problem that we have with Kylie sometimes. Keep on doing what he likes to do instead of doing what other people need to do. Typical Kylie. Always into what he likes to do. Right? Last ride, Kylie. Last one. Okay. Now this one is one crazy ride. John calls it the puke bucket because you end up turning sideways over and over in the air. Kyle's having second thoughts. Kylie is not. He's just intent on the ride. <laughs> oh, keep your hands in, Kylie. Hey guys, we're just getting done with church and everything. It went okay. Um, there was a couple times where Kylie was being a little bit melty and upset, but all in all, it was pretty good. 
Uh, Kylie's now focused on his theme parks, which means he's focusing on John's place. <laughs> and the stuff we got at home as well, but especially John's place right now. Because they have a roller coaster that goes upside, upside down and sideways in there. Which is now what he wants us to get him. Or the Hudson's, we're not sure. Anyway. So, what's going to happen is Bodie's going to be homeschooled. He wanted to come back home. He missed us a lot. Kylie, he loves us, but has never truly attached to either Lonzie or me or Richard E. So, he has attached to Jennifer and Josh. So, we're just letting it play out the best we can. It's not the best way to do it, but you know what? It's okay. It works. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're dropping off Robbie, Craig, Brian, and JJ. You guys have a good day, okay? We're going to get you tomorrow, right? Excuse me. It has been a very long day, y'all. I'm just going to tell you flat out. It's been a very long day. We're going to go back home. <clears throat> uh, Respite's going to watch the kids for a little bit. So I'll and I can go out for a little back ride. Because after the way today has been, I need to take a breath. And so does he. So we're going to go for a little back ride. So we're headed home. And then... <clears throat> Kids are gonna go for bed. We're gonna go for a bike ride. So we are gonna be staying in the cabin um, from Saturday night till Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, something like that. Um, <clears throat> that or we might do well. No, because Bree's birthday's tomorrow. We probably could do Friday night, Saturday afternoon, or something like that. That way, we don't mess up the church routine or something. So, yeah. All right, we're going on our nightly bike ride. The kids are at the house getting ready for bed. We've got them fed and changed and all that, given the medications and all that. Um, so the Hudsons are watching them until we get back. They're being arrested for right now, so I don't have to page anybody. But these e-bike rides are really thrilling and awesome. It is good to have a good chance to take a ride on the e-bike for a while. So, this is a really good way to kind of help you feel better. We wrote a cathartic, uh, cathartic way too, which is really nice. So, when you have a bad day, just come take a ride on your e-bike and forget about everything. You know, that's our chance to do that. So we're just uh, enjoying a ride. Love the way it feels. Third time in a week doing this. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Woohoo! So now we're trying out Rich's uh, flying bike. It is awesome. It is fast too. It's really not that fast actually. Oh, it, it feels fast to us. I mean, it's just flies at about 30, 40, 35, 40 miles an hour. We like it. So we're really enjoying that. Uh, we just checked the monitor. The kids are in bed doing their job. Good job. Really proud of that. I like the fact that we can look down at the house from way up here. It's awesome. You would think it'd be super loud, but it's actually not. Now, some are. If you get a Z-Bot flying bike, it is, but this one ain't so bad. Now, I will admit to you that I was terrified when I first got on here because I'm thinking, oh my God. You know, this is a dream I had about a flying bike a while back. So I'm like, oh, shoot. 
so yeah so yeah it was a little scary but uh doing okay making it through it right it's part of being autistic you gotta make it through Whee! and here we go Car guard is flying, flying by us. Hey, just respect for the road, you idiot. Anyway, guys, we're just going to enjoy the ride for a while. And I'm just going to say goodnight to you guys. I hope you are all doing great. We are really enjoying um, riding bikes because it just feels good to us. And it's something that we can do well. And it's actually good for exercise. So even doing this is really cool. We're just hovering and, and, and riding. So it's nice. Anyway, hope you guys are all doing awesome. Talk to you guys tomorrow. I think you guys are awesome. Love y'all so much. Mwah. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.